even without completely unwinding it like this, even being able to flex it a little bit like this, that's the whole key to this model. Just to give students the idea that, that it's not a hard, inflexible structure, but it's, it's a dynamic, almost a breathing molecule. This is the only one that's representing the atomic arrangement and all the bonds and then also the dynamic nature of the DNA. Because some are flexible, but they lack detail. The ones that have a lot of detail lack the flexibility, and this sort of puts it all together. Yeah, the fact that you can take one model and go from, you can get, go structure to replication mm -hmm. or structure to transcription with only without changing models, mm -hmm. that's extremely helpful to help students conceptualize it's the same thing that's going mm -hmm. on. And now, Let's see if we can replicate it. All right, so go ahead and let that turn here in this model. So we can, with a little work here then, construct a replication bubble. So the new strand is gonna be made five prime to three prime in this direction. So let's start, let's put one, does anyone have a T or a C? All right, so we'll put a T right here. Anyone have an A? Okay, A goes in there. Let's check again. Here's our 5 prime phosphate. Here's our 3 prime hydroxyl group. We're going this way. And you can just keep advancing this as you open up more and more of this. So this is the continuously replicated side of the fork. Again, the replication bubble, what I love about it is that you can show the lead and like strands at the same time and still show the coiling that's happening on the backside, that you'd be able to show the coiling happening on the front while you're doing it at the same time, and that you can actually identify the fact that these two things are actually happening completely and totally independently of one another, which is very, very cool to visualize. The, the highly interactive models tend to be simplified, whereas the more complex ones tend to be static. And I feel that this kind of bridges the, the complex molecule that's also highly interactive. Mm -hmm. That's what I kind of like about it. What I really like about this is the versatility because I can sit here and I can go over basic structure down with my middle school folks. And then I can go to my general biology and add another layer of complexity. And then I go to my college prep and then finally my college biology. And each time I can use the same thing and add another layer of complexity to what we're doing.